today we were working in the hot glass studio at the banana factory. Uh, today we did a process which is called uh, glass cane making. So it's a uh, 16th century Venetian technique that was developed um, in Italy somewhere, probably the island of Murano. And basically what we do is we take molten glass and we transform it from more or less a big blob of glass into a long rod. And the idea is to create a color pattern in that rod so that later on we can use those rods together to form a greater cane pattern. We're working in the ArtsQuest Glass Studio, which is a part of the ArtsQuest Corporation. It's actually a nonprofit arts corporation, and we um, offer all sorts of different classes as well as entertainment. Here at the Banana Factory, this is the building we're in, we have all sorts of different uh, art classes. We have blowing glass classes, glass sculpting classes, as well as ceramics, uh, photo, painting, and drawing. It's a pretty uh, labor-intensive process, and it's uh, expensive. Uh, hours in the hot shop are about $40 an hour. So as you saw, that piece probably took us about 15, 12, 15 minutes to make. So um, you know that's only part of the process. So it ends up being a pretty expensive piece of glass. Usually, I sell the vases for some and platters for somewhere between two, three hundred dollars once they're fully assembled with all the uh, cane glass. Typically, out of um, from that cane style technique, we'll make uh, different vases. Uh, nowadays, uh, bowls and plates are very popular. The whole idea of the process is to make those um, that one long rod that I made as even as possible, so that what we'll do is we'll chop them up into six or nine inch sections. Those that I was going to do into nine inch sections. Once we have all the nine inch sections, we'll lay them down. You can imagine each one of my fingers being a rod. We'll lay them down on a steel plate and heat them to about 2,000 degrees and fuse them all together. They'll become a full sheet, and then once they're a full sheet, we'll actually roll that sheet up so it becomes a cylinder. And then once we close the tip of that cylinder, we'll have a bubble and we can make whatever we want out of that bubble. 